Let's start by creating a new document within Google Drive. There, so there are a couple things we need to remember as we do this. Uh, one, we need to make sure we are on the right folder. So I'm just going to go down to my Google Drive folder. And I know I'm there because of the uh, breadcrumbs up here. And then I'm just going to simply go to New. And then down under the Folders and File Uploads, I see where it says Google Docs. So I'm going to click on that. Um, because I've shared that with different individuals, you can see up here, it's going to make sure I understand that I'm sharing it with somebody else. I click OK. And now you notice up in my tab, I have a new untitled document. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to rename the document. Now notice that as I rename or as I click up here on the title, it brings opens up a window. And I'm going to type in Jeff's test document. All right, click OK, and now I'm back to my document. Now, a couple things that you'll notice. One, that we have some editing tools here. So each one of these tools, I have some different options. Notice under the pull downs, I have um, different options here. So all of those items there that have the little arrow by them also um, have information underneath them. So um, to start off, we're just going to go ahead and type in some information here. This is a test document and from here I can take and I can do lots of different things similar to what I can do in other word processing programs I can change the font here um, I can bold it I can even change the color of that font to reflect um, some different things similar to what I can do on most other word processing programs now to speed up this process I'm just going to copy some filler text in here so click on that here and I'm going to undo my formatting options, make sure I have this back, and I'm just going to copy a bunch of text in here. So that's just a very simple, easy way to do that. Now, let's say I want to make some changes. So notice that I can come up here and I can change my format from, these, uh, from this pull-down menu, or I can also use these pieces here. Let's say that I wanted to add a link. Again, brought trees from stars right here. All I have to do is just come up here, click on insert link, and this is where it takes and it looks for a link based on this particular uh, body of text. So, and I can, or if I have a link, so if I just want to send this to Google, um, I can do that as well. And when I click on apply, you'll notice that that takes and adds that to the document as a link and you notice that uh, it shows the underline and the blue uh, link feature there so let's take a look at some other uh, features that we can use and we've got a bullet we can do the numbered list we can do the bulleted list as well and um, we'll talk a little bit more about the editing piece over here but let's say this is our document now and um, we want to save this now we don't just want to save this in google drive we want to take and we want to pull it out of google drive for somebody that doesn't use um, google so if we come over here to file notice i have lots of options and, and things i can do here i can actually click over here and download as so this is one of the biggest uh, misconceptions about google once you create a google doc it's it's only in that format We'll notice that I can download this as any other, lots of other formats here as a PDF, as a Microsoft Word doc. So if I absolutely have to or, or needed to, I can actually send this off as a Microsoft Word document very easily just by simply clicking here. It's going to give me the download link and that's going to take and throw that into my downloads folder on my computer. Now, if I wanted to get a little bit more sophisticated here, I could take and let's say this is my heading text. So notice that under normal text, I can actually change and I can go to heading one and that's going to take and do that entire paragraph because I didn't separate that. Command or control Z on your computer will undo or you have your undo keys here. So I'm going to take and I'm going to take, put a, a hard return there, come back to heading and there it is. So um, lots of things that you can do right inside Google Docs that are similar to other word processing programs that make it very easy for you to get in and edit your information and content.